This is what you'd call a rebuilding year for the Valley girls basketball team. In the past two years, they've had a handful of their top players move on to play college ball, including Zoe Young, who's now at Maryland. For Dowling, they're in a bit of a different spot. The state's top 2020 recruit, Caitlin Clark, enters her senior season with a strong group around her as well. Tonight, these two meeting after what has been some classic showdowns in recent years. This one ugly when we get there. Dowling up 33-10. Caitlin Clark goes baseline, gets the layup. Fans liking it. Later in the second, Clark spreading the love to Grace Gaber. She drives, spins, lays it in. Then Meredith Reeker playing a little D for Valley. Gets the steal, absorbs the contact, hoop, and the hack. Three-point play there. Too much Clark, though, for Dowling. Weaving her way through the entire defense. Gets the and one. She finished with 24 points on the night, but just for good measure. Going to pull up at the top of the key. She drain it from there. Clark barely had to play in the fourth quarter. Dowling rolling 70 to 25. Let's keep it in girls basketball. CIML Roosevelt fresh off of their win over Valley this week. Take on last year's runner up Southeast Polk. Riders holding the Rams close. Trinity Cheatham kissing it off the glass to get it within 13. Keala Madison now beats the buzzer to keep it at a 13 point deficit going into the fourth quarter. But that's where the Rams would pull away. Grace Larkins on the receiving end of one of the prettiest feeds. Larkins finished with 24. Rams win 69-48. Johnston hosting North first quarter. Maya McDermott going to find Kinsey Jillick for three. Gets the shooter's roll there on the home court bounce. Fans okay with that one as well. A few possessions later, McDermott going to drop it to Kendall Need, who's going to just go right up, lay it in. Nice dish there. That McDermott gets in the scoring herself. Maddie Mock finding her leaking out. Johnston would dominate this one 73-32. Now let's head over to Centennial, where the Jags look to get back to their winning ways after losing against Southeast Polk. And great display of team basketball. Pass, pass, bucket, then Cleow Murray with the finish. Centennial in control. Huskies' Amaria Turner came with the defense pair of blocks. There's one. And how about two? Yeah, but the Jags stay steady on the gas. Jackie Pippett up and under. Making it look easy right there. Centennial wins 76-15. Now tonight, Boys game. Hoover Centennial sticking right with it. Join this one second quarter. Huskies down by 11, but Chavi Porter takes us into the gritty part of the key. Gets that to fall. Centennial answering at the other end. Micah Johnson finding his mid-range jumper here. Nothing but twine for the senior. We hear from him again right here. Driving. Going to pull up. Gets that home court roll. Centennial is up double digits. Now Jaron Cruz showing off the shiftiness. Finishes with the right-handed layup up off the glass and in. Then watch closely. Cruz dropping the pass between his legs for Colin McAleer. He's going to tickle the twine from three. Centennial running away with it just like Preston Kelling running away with this one. And guess what? Our first dunk of the year. Throwing down the two-handed slam. Centennial tops Hoover 72-46. All right, let's go over to Valley Dowling boys. We were there for the girls game. This boys game just as good. Dowling led most of the way up 14-9. Last play of the quarter, Ryan Riggs finds Matt Stillwell, who nails the buzzer beater. Dowling led 17-9 after one. We have highlights full of everything here tonight. Second quarter, Ty Walker baseline jumper, giving Valley its first lead of this game. Third quarter still, Dowling back on top. Matt Riedel, the block gets it ahead to Joe Stracco. Goes up and under. Nice little finish there on the reverse. Valley kept it close in the fourth. It's Jake Auer knocking down the triple, but that would be Valley's last points as Dowling pulling away 52 to 38. Roosevelt Southeast Polk boys, Romanique Helms ready to do business tonight as the Riders take on Malachi Williams and the Rams. Both teams looking for their first win on the year. Southeast Polk, well, they're coming out with a hot hand. James Glenn fires from the wing, hits the trade, open the game, then Glenn is not selfish, throws it out to Chase Bar Bartlett, top of the key. He connects on another Rams tray. Roosevelt doing their own showing off of the range, too. Ethan Loven has the space and just going to knock down the three like it ain't no thing. Both teams living at the land of the deep three ball. James Glenn hitting again from the corner. This one went to the wire, though. Southeast Polk holding off Roosevelt to win it. 48 to 47, and so it